Hi guys, West Coast Arachnids. I'm bringing you another feeding update video. This is a Brachypelma albicolosum. I'm actually going to do this one in order of number, uh, which we'll start with uh, number one. This is a Brachypelma albicolosum, the Honder and curly hair. Now this guy, I don't think he's going to eat because I do believe that's a molting web. But I could be wrong, so let's give it a shot. All these mealworms are fattened right up on uh, pieces of orange that I put in there. Good to uh, add a lot of vitamin C into your critters when you're feeding them. So yeah, this guy is not going to eat. He's looking quite plump and quite dark. These uh, albopolosums really have uh, dark bodies to begin with. It's very difficult to see in there. I'll get something to prop these up with. And get number two. There's a lot of web laid down in there, so I'm sure he's going to molt. These guys are. Uh, one's already molted, so I'm sure the others are soon to follow. I'm just looking for, yes, this. This is going to give us a little bit better of a view. So, let's see what we can do here. This guy has molted about a week ago. Need to move the lights now that I've moved him up. It's him climbing up the wall, upside down. Amazing. They, these mealworms just kind of glom on to the orange. Mm. I'm going to have to pause this. Okay. Well, sorry about that. I had to pause it. I thought somebody was at my door, but they were not. It was just a handyman fixing something outside. So, he's already grabbed the, the worm. There it is. So, if you'll enjoy that, it should fatten him up. After his molt, wish I could show you. There, you kind of can see him there. They're looking really good. Now, I see a lot of people's tarantulas that look like these that uh, they say they're Brachypelma vagans, but they look more like, you know, the Abapolosum or Verdesi. Uh, there's also another one. I can't remember what, it, I can't remember what it's called. It starts with a B. What did I do with my tweezers? Did I leave them down there? Anyway, I'll pause you and get another one up. Okay, this is uh, Brachypelma albopolosum number three. You're gonna eat. This guy may be improved. 
cream all. Maybe not. Get that. This guy's about inch and inch and a half, inch and three quarters. And I think he's just playing with it. see the whole thing move when he grabs it's all complete web there we go he got it he's looking around for it I think there's a little bit of dirt in that water bowl but too bad. Oh no, looking through the camera now I can see it. There's species in it. It'd be okay if it was just simply dirt, but if there's feces in it, that's gonna stagnate the water really quick and cause issues. You can see where the bowl was. Oh, it's uh, a bit underneath. So you shouldn't always move your water dish to avoid that area becoming moldy or mildew mildewy or propagating a uh, fungus. <clears throat> Three things needed for fungus is. Um, Moisture, warmth, and uh, some kind of fertilizer or substrate for it to grow on, just a medium. We'll get them out of there. Mycelium growth tends to grow better in the dark. The fungus itself, the fruit, seems to like the light <coughs> or need it to grow. And they always seem to fall away from them. They seem to know exactly where to fall, so I can't reach at them. There we go. If you can't get that, there's something wrong. Get a little light on the subject. See the hairs on the legs starting to come out. These guys get really hairy legs. I thought mine were bad. All right, that's Brachypelma number four. Honduran curly hair. Honduran. Anyway, that's it. Y'all take care. Have a great day and bye for now.